Taking advantage of the same Clippers missing Leonard with right knee inflammation that beat them in Game 4, Luka Doncic nearly tripled any other player's Game 5 total in field goals made. But Luka's 14 of 26 bounce back clinic while fighting through both an illness and a sprained knee wasn't even one of the main factors that stunned people. One of those factors was Maxi Kleba, who after scoring just 15 combined in the first four games of this opening round series, scored 15 in Game 5 alone by making a game high by far five threes. While Kleba is a 40% career playoff three-point shooter, after struggling like he was before this, the fact that Maxi drained the third highest three-point percentage in a game on at least seven three-point attempts in 2024's playoffs was stunning. Same can be said for how Dallas's 30-point win that was the fourth biggest W of the postseason followed up getting beaten by 23 in the previous game's first quarter. Undrafted UNLV product Derek Jones Jr. helped set the tone with a flurry of early buckets and on the other end ultimately finished with a monstrous three blocks, which was met with some high praise from Doncic afterwards. Full analysis on Dallas's Game 5 win is on its way. Jason Kidd and the Mavericks coaching staff's adaptation to the involvement of the traditional norms of the NBA to run lineups featuring three bigs at once, I think is smart. Maxi Kleba, PJ Washington, and Derek Lively II shared the floor for a long stretch to open the second quarter. During this stretch, Dallas's offense was working to perfection. The Mavs' spacing, read and react decision making, plus execution resulted in them breaking down the Tyron Lue defensive game plan establishing Dallas an authoritative flow. But the Mavericks would gain the separation that would never be looked back upon later in the quarter, with Derrick Jones Jr. and Daniel Gafford back on the court. Kleba was still on at this point, and even though he had just knocked down three triples in this same quarter already, the Clippers don't adjust. Maxi is left wide open for a fourth triple of the half, and he hits the deep-range bomb. Crowding Plumley at the hoop... Showtime Mavericks commences when Gafford 94-foot sprints up the court for this perfectly placed Uncle Drew lob. Despite being funneled to the short corner, Irving then somehow finds a way to get this shot off over the hard closeout of Amir Coffey. Extending the Maverick advantage from 8 to 11, Jones Jr. spaces the floor for three of his 12 off the Dallas bench as Derek's proven to be an overlooked asset. Off the hardened turnover, it's his former teammate in Irving, mercilessly taking it at Powell in transition for this lefty scoop on the right side and Uncle Drew's height. Breaking this game wide open, though, was the banged up, having been struggling, which we'll get to more on, Luka Doncic. A stationary change of direction tween right gets him to the elbow, where a tween to his left hand flowing into a step back still forces him to change his release to evade Zubats. Great defense, but that shot making is nuts. After a horn screen, Mann guesses jump shot, putting him behind Doncic. Zubats leaves the paint wide open and drop, and Mann swiping on his trail nets Luka the and one. On eighth straight Doncic point, without an answer from the Clippers, he generates off a lively ball screen, where Luka uses three hesitations while looking at Derek on the roll, maybe gets away with a few carries, but nonetheless gets to his spot for the craft he has ever drifting back post hook. While Luka's led the Mavericks in scoring, rebounding, passing, and playing time so far in the postseason, it's been Kyrie Irving who's been this team's most efficient playoff performer thus far. Irving's 25-point-per-game averages have come on a 50-40-90 shooting split. Uncle Drew is taking these young bloods to work. Too easy out here against these young bloods. After losing Game 4 in what was a subpar performance efficiency-wise for Doncic in comparison to this team's other top scorer, Irving, Luka admitted he needed to be better, while stating regarding Kyrie, I just gotta help him more, I feel like I'm letting him down, so I gotta be there. I gotta help him more, he's given everything he has, and he's been amazing for us all series. With a bounce-back performance, he seemed to live up to those words. For the second best German stretch big in Mavericks history behind franchise GOAT Dirk Nowitzki, we've talked about his bucket getting, but Maxi Kleba was playable in the first place because of his swiftness defensively, allowing him to combine with Derek Lively to outscore the Clippers by 41 points when the two bench players were on the court. Here, Kleba halts any potential Clipper fast break on this play by picking up PG, not falling for the hezzy cross combination by staying out at the arc, 
Then when Paul tries to put him on an island, Maxie buckles down to clamp up multiple other George shock-creating mechanisms by reading PG's every move with attention to detail, reactionary quickness, and ball pressure to force the miss. Out of this floppy action for the Clippers, watch how Kleba trails George by avoiding the Zubat screen in a ducking glide, sticking to PG's side, then following his lob pass to Zubats where he swats it out of bounds. Unfortunately, the scores table wasn't watching because Maxi wasn't credited with a block. In terms of Derek Jones Jr., his eighth year in the association saw him average a career high in scoring and minutes per game to go along with three-point percentage. That said, Derek's been able to stay in this league for a span that's now gone longer than the average NBA career because of his combination of reach, athleticism, and versatility. Jones Jr. has found a home in the association as a 3 and D wing player, but it's his dunk contest champion tested springiness that can make him a special X factor. When DJJ is making the right decisions and playing with a high IQ like he was in game five, that's crucial for him. Here was Jones Jr.'s personal reflection on his career and what it's made out of him. I was undrafted. I, I went into situations where I wasn't supposed to be on the roster or playing. And I fought my way into to a roster spot and I fought my way into rotation and I'm going to keep fighting until the day I die. It's just who I am. I always fight and I never give up. Responding to that post of an interview from the NBA on X, a quote tweet from the Slovenian sensation Luka Doncic reads regarding DJJ, very, very underrated. That's some high social media praise right there from the Don. Speaking of praise, and on this channel, I made the hot take prediction the Mavericks would win at least a playoff round or two in my last Dallas video back in late March. Go fact check me on that by watching that after this. For right now, with how well Kyrie Irving's playing, this gives Doncic the best talent he's ever had next to him at the most important time. The flow Kyrie's established bodes tremendously well for this Mavericks team because in years past, their downfall was relying on Doncic way too much. With role players like Kleba and Jones Jr. finding similarly rhythmic flows to their game, an albeit not 100% Slovenian sensation could have the pieces he needs. I'm predicting Dallas closes this series out when it shifts back to Texas on Friday night. However, I want to know what your predictions are. Is Dallas closing it out at home? Drop your takes for a chance at next video's comment or shoutout, and to win free merch of your choosing. Today's comment or shoutout goes to Irvin Guerra, who says, I think the Nuggets should be a little concerned about their slow starts. They'll be facing a feisty and well-rounded Minnesota team. The T-Wolves are not the type of group you want to give momentum to in the playoffs, especially with Ant proving himself to be Jordan-esque. These two had a series last year and it got competitive. Even when Minnesota was the one struggling with the injury bug the Nuggets are dealing with right now, one of the reasons for the Nuggets' injuries is because of their slow starts and the need to always come back from behind. True say right there, Irvin. True say. Your boy d signing off, and peace.